this is a brief tutorial on the VSR installer. The download contains the latest VSR server, VATSIM messaging DLL and VSR sounds for vPilot. You will see the latest version details. You now have an opportunity to quit the process and continue manually. You can choose to install the Toolbar app directly under your Flight Sim Community folder. Alternatively, you can select a different directory. You might do this if you are using an add-on linker. By default, the server is installed under the Toolbar app folder. Again, you have an option to install this elsewhere. If you already have the server installed at this location, the install process will keep your configuration settings. You can also install this new incoming message for vPilot. Captain, you have an incoming direct message. You have an option to create a desktop shortcut to the VSR server. Once the files are copied across, installer can check whether the vPilot to VSR messaging is working correctly. It will start vPilot and then listen for an incoming startup message. If it cannot restart vPilot, it will ask you to do it manually. If it detects issues, then please read the relevant help on modifying the DLL security settings. You now have an option to open a browser window to continue the configuration. It waits to start the VSR server in demo mode. Then displays the configuration panel where you can install your SIM brief and VATSIM IDs for root imports. You can also input your free weather API key, which is needed to access Meta, TAF and certain location data. Another tab has the Check WX page to create a free account and API key. You can get your SIM brief ID on another tab. You can also view the VSR YouTube tutorials and the latest release note. Once you are done with configuration, head back to the installer window to finish off. Press any key to close the VSR server in demo mode, which is important before you run it with the simulator.